All right, everybody, 411 Outdoors is gonna be 411 Indoors today. We're gonna to be doing a Smith & Wesson folding knife showcase. Stick around. I hope you're doing well, my friend, and I hope you find this video helpful and resourceful. Let's get rolling looking at some knives. One of the things I like to do on my channel is review knives all across the spectrum. There was a time when I was primarily looking at budget blades, but now I'm looking at a little bit of everything because there's something out there for everyone. There's something out there for those who can only spend 30 or 40 bucks or less. And then there's a lot of great options out there for people who wanna spend as much as they want to. I try to cover a little bit of everything on this channel. Smith & Wesson is a company that sends me a lot of blades, and I mean a lot of blades to put on display, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be looking at four folding knives, and they're all different, and they all have unique features. Let's get started looking at the first one, and it's going to be the Black Ops Magic Folder. I wanna show you the packaging here. This is the Black Ops Magic Folder. Let's get it opened up. Safety first, I wanna tell you, when you open up these types of packages, be very careful. You don't know how many people have cut themselves opening up a package like this. Get you a sharp knife. I like to use my Mora for those sharp tasks. And just be careful when you open these packs up and you don't get your hand on the blade. I did that one time buying a Camillus blade from Walmart a few years ago. I got the nastiest cut right there in the parking lot. It was terrible. I couldn't even wait to get home to open up the blade. Something I want to point out first and foremost is that, you know, the specs on these folding knives from Smith & Wesson are always listed right here. You know, this one's got 4034 stainless steel. Let me open this up here for you. Look at that thing. That's a solid open up there. Man, we'll get more into this in a minute, but 4034 stainless steel, aluminum handle. This has an aluminum handle on it. It's got a very unique look and feel to it. Might get a little slick in dire situations, nevertheless, man, that looks cool. It's got a liner lock. It's got a side safety on it, as you can see right there. That is a very unique feature. It's got a finger actuator and a magic assisted opening. You also get the dimensions right here on the back. 7.7 .7 inches with a 3.4 inch blade. So this is a very unique blade with a plain edge. Feels very sharp, paper sharp. Uh, tactical black, you know, as a lot of these blades are. Uh, this has just got a very, very, very solid, it's very hard to close this. And uh, it's got this little safety lock to where you can't even open it here if you don't wanna have to fling it open, but if you wanna just leave that open all the time. But I want you to see the power in this. <laughs> that opens hard and fast. I gotta admit, that's fun to play with there. So this is the Black Ops Magic Folder. And man, I'm gonna tell you, this looks like a pretty solid everyday carry. There's your pocket clip goes right in your pocket. It's a hard hitting folding blade that feels very solid, man. That thing's locked in there tight. I'll let you see the locking mechanism here. Let you get a look at the, the thickness. Not a very thick blade. Doesn't really need to be for what this is. Next, we're gonna see what's in this little box right here for those who like a very compact pocket working knife. We're gonna be taking a look at the Executive Barlow here. It's got a fold out, snap out feature here, whatever you wanna call it with a sheep's foot blade there with an African rosewood handle. There's your clip, pretty sweet looking little blade. Man, real sharp edge. 8CR13 steel, 2.75 inch blade. Just for those little sharp, delicate tasks, say. There you go. Next, we're gonna be cracking open the special tactical folding knife. And like I said, you wanna use a sharp knife like a Mora <laughs> to open these things up. Once you open it, you can just split it right down the middle, but do so without cutting your hands. All right, and here's the special tactical. Now this one already doesn't feel quite as solid as the Black Ops folder that we looked at just a little bit ago, but it does have some interesting features. Let's break it down. Number one, this is much more of a budget item than the Black Ops. So if you're on a very tight budget, I think this is probably no more than about $15. This just has a composite handle here. I do like the texture of the handle. Um, it's got a nice kind of a rubberized feel to it, which is really good in terrible situations. 
You know, this black ops here is very slick. You know, this is a very slick type of handle, but this is still so much more solid and a little more expensive than this one. This is even more of a budget steel. This is 7CR17 MOV. And this does not have a spring assisted opening. This is just a liner lock. This is just, you know, the little notch here open with your thumb. Real standard, real basic. It has a good look to it. This is a, you know, slick little blade with a very, very sharp edge here. Yeah, it's still paper sharp like the rest. And it's got some serrated edge on it for those who feel they may need this. Very affordable. This has a very tight play as well. This one, you know, you can't make it drop down. It has to be pushed down. So it's feels like it's in there really tight and um, feels like it has decent construction there. I want you to get a look at the, the inside of it all the way around. I would primarily use something like this as a basic little work knife. If all I could afford was something that was 15, 20 bucks. I like the look. I do like the look of it. I like black stuff anyway. I like that rubberized grip. Could you fight and defend with it? Well, I guess you could. It would be better than having nothing at all. I definitely would recommend something built more solid because you can't play around when it comes to stuff like that. When you're in a situation of self-defense where you might collide with bone, you really need something solid. Uh, nevertheless, you know, you could slice and hurt with this pretty bad. Again, better than having nothing in your hand at all, which is where most people are. So there you go, the special tactical. All right, last on the list is this bad boy right here. Now, uh, right off the bat, I don't have a name for it. I'm gonna have to do a little research to, to find the name of this. I'm big on blades having a name. I don't care if it's a cheesy name, give it a name. All right, well, here's the blade, but here's my complaint right off the bat, if I'm just reviewing this right out of the box. Um, if a person doesn't know what the name of this blade is, or have some sort of product search, how are they going to look it up online and get a deeper look at it? They might wanna look at further reviews, further specifications. And I'm looking on this package here and I don't see anything wherewith to identify this knife. So I can't give you a whole lot of information on the construction of this, with the exception of the fact that it's a stainless steel blade with a satin finish, obviously, an ABS handle. It's got a very lightweight handle and a liner lock. This is not spring assisted. Um, it's just got the little liner lock on it. And, um, you know, it feels like it's pretty solid. It's obviously very sharp. Well, let's see, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Yeah, it's paper sharp. It could use a little bit more of an edge. This was probably the most dull of them all, but nevertheless, pretty sharp edge on it. I wish I could give you a product name for this, but a product name was not supplied. So Smith & Wesson, uh, we need product names on this if we're going to present this stuff. So um, what I will try to do at, for you as the viewer is between now and then get in contact with somebody and see if I can get an actual name for this blade. The others had a name. I can't find one for this one. I have researched it online. I've looked it up. I couldn't find it. So I got to give a thumbs down on that uh, just to be transparent here. So if I find a link between now and the time I upload this video, I will drop that in the description. That brings us to a conclusion today, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, these are budget blades for people on a budget who can't afford a very expensive folding knife. Smith & Wesson does have a lot of options and nine times out of 10, they name their blades to where you can find them. But I was disappointed that I couldn't find a name for this because I really like the look of it. It's very lightweight. I like the feel. I like it the way it feels, you know, in either grip, either position. So again, I'll try to find that information for you, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on these blades. Do you have these? What's been your experience with them? Take care.